We about to react to a Sam season video. What is tricking? Featuring Ice T. And probably featuring some other people too. Let's check it out. She gonna have to wait. Okay, this is an interesting. Listen, but we nine seconds in and I paused already. My bad, Sam. Anyway, I don't see nothing wrong with tricking. I don't do it. But if a nigga want to trick, you know what I'm saying? It's his money. He can do what he want with it. This is from Sam. He wants my take on what tricking is. Ice T, rapper, actor, and one of Soldier Boy's arch nemesis. I apologize, Soldier Boy, for telling you to eat a dick. That was just in anger. But as far as your music goes, it's garbage. But before Ice T was all these things that I just mentioned, which y'all didn't know, Ice T used to be a pimp. Now Ice T, the Soldier Boy Ice T shit was crazy because that nigga was literally like a teenager in high school, <laughs> and they was he was beefing with a grown ass man. That shit was crazy. He got his name for one of the most famous pimps in the world named Iceberg Slim. He even made a documentary about him in 2012 called Iceberg Slim, Portrait of a Pimp. Now what made I Shout out to all the pimps. Iceberg Slim, such a household name when it came to pimps, were the books that he wrote in the 60s and the 70s. There's a book to me that encapsulates my entire experience before I left the show. And the book is called Pimp. It's written by a guy named Iceberg Slim. Iceberg Slim, his real name was Robert Beck, he got the name Iceberg because he was in a bar in Chicago and there was a shootout in the bar and a bullet went through this nigga's hat and he still finished his drink. That's crazy. I need to see this stand up because if you know me, you know Dave Chappelle is my favorite comedian, stand up person, whatever you want to call it, of all time. So I need to see this. I, I don't know if I've seen it or not. Because I don't remember this part. Um, I seen the uh, the Iceberg Slim documentary. I saw it. I think I saw it on YouTube. Because I never had the actual DVD or whatever it came out on. But I know I seen it before because I remember that that uh, cover. Like the drawing. Pimps love that. They said, man, you ice cold. And he said, I like that. And it stuck. This book is so heavy in the front, it has a glossary of pimp terms because the ideas are so foreign to the American ears. Yes, ultimately this book did inspire this video, but one of my videos inspired this video also. Hey, what's the best pickup line somebody ever used? What's your cash out? Yeah, that brother's starving. That's the... Me personally, I ain't using that line. Unless we getting money together, that's the only way I'm using that line. But me personally, I'm not I'm not finna be like, here's some money for no reason. If I'm giving a girl some money, she's my girl. Like, I, I have no problem giving my girlfriend some money. My wife, if I had a wife or a girlfriend. If I had a girlfriend. I used to send my girl that I used to date years ago, I used to send her random cash apps too, just because she was my girlfriend. Like, but when me and her was just talking, I didn't send her shit. You ain't earned this money. That's like a pickup line. Yeah. That's, that's a pickup line. No, it's not. Yeah. He's trying to trick. That's what he's trying to trick. Uploading that video and seeing the reaction from men and women on TikTok, the question of what is tricking began to pop in my head. Iceberg Slim talks about it in his book. Rappers talk about it damn near in every song, but nobody had a concrete answer whenever I asked them. It was almost like the dudes were trying to cover up the fact that they ever spent money on a girl before, and the girls were trying to hide the fact that they still could be selling it on Instagram with the half-naked photos. But overall, that's true. Girls be selling sex, and niggas be buying it. That's why I'm going to save my advice today. Hold on, y'all. Just, just wait. I realize dudes have been spending money on women since the dawn of time. I mean, we're supposed to be providers, right? But I needed to find the difference between spending money on a girl that you were just genuinely interested in or tricking on a girl. Exactly.
when you genuinely interested in a girl, then you just genuinely interested. But if you trying to get the pussy out of her with money, that's tricking. Hey, tricking if you get it. Is it true that bottle girls are like Juco strippers? Hey, we finna get a stripper time. Oh, we finna see. Hey, he almost uh didn't cover that up. Watch. Y'all see how the ass show, and then when it started to move, he blanked it out. Hey, we finna get a stripper time. Oh, we finna see what it's talking about. Yeah, I think he drops. Naked butt. Oh. Alright, so you know what I'm saying? She been getting booty butt naked butt. Booty butt naked. Is it on the Patreon? Let me find out, man. I don't know what's been happening. Yeah, I think he drops, so you know you gotta pick it up. Easy, 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 big fella. Man, when she bent over, I already knew what it was looking like. I already knew what it was looking like. It was it was probably looking like two chicken thighs. I mean, two chicken legs with a taco in between. Easy, big fella. I'm not wearing this. I'm not. I was going to wear this Saturday. Because would this look cute if I'm like outside at a corner store? Bro, do y'all see that? I'm not. If you pause it at the right time, you can see. I was going to wear this Saturday. Because... Would this look cute if I'm like outside? I almost got it, bro. Look cute if I'm like outside. Boom! Look at it. That thing is. Oh, oh my god. TT, I don't know if you're watching this, but I love you. With all my heart, by the way. Not even just like a little bit. Like my whole heart. You can have it. Why wow, you trying to look like somebody out there? At 6 o'clock. Oh my god, it's so juicy. Yeah, so this is it. Changing. <laughs> Dude, why are you so far away? What do you consider far away? All the way over there. So what do you consider tree? What do you consider far away? All the way over there. <laughs> I'm trying to see some here. Y'all just relax. What do you consider far away? All the way over there. Bro, oh, do you see that? Where did he find her? I, wherever he found her, I need to find her too. I need, or somebody similar. She got a sister or something? Damn. <laughs> so what do you consider tricky? You got OnlyFans, right? Yes. You do? So would you consider your OnlyFans subscribers tricks? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I left a comment on Instagram and I said she couldn't lie to save her life in this situation. And I'm, I still mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if I took you on a date, you consider that trick? No. You would? Mm -mm. Why? So what's the difference between me taking you on a date and like a trick taking you on a date? It's really not a difference. All y'all know anyways. You probably Why? Try, you're already trying to play. You huh. probably gonna try to play me anyway. What? What's so crazy is I think the difference between him it being tricking for him and not her. I mean, and not another nigga is because she probably like him. She probably don't like actual tricks because i don't think sam a trick i think sam i think he might would trick but i don't think he is a current trick like i don't think he's tricking versus like some old heads like some niggas that's like 60 if they want to hurt shit she'll probably make them trick by the way me they're me subscribe to my only fans at talia only fans com slash talia you ain't finished for all you niggas out there who's going to go subscribe after watching this video, whether y'all watching the original or my reaction, let me know what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? Like, let a nigga know something. Show, show a nigga. Not not like, don't steal her content, but like, like just describe it to me. 
DM me on Instagram and be like, it's round and brown. The titties sit up. Let me, let like, give me something to mentally think of. Ask me no questions. Good All right, uh, what's the most somebody ever tricked you? I don't know because I feel like a lot of people don't spend money on me for long. If I have a subscriber that's been subscribed to me for like a year or so, it may be them. As far as like old guys or guys I meet, they send me like a few hundreds and then they go on about their business. Shit, that's better than nothing. It's girls out here getting nothing sent to them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I seen something on Twitter. It was like getting flirted by an old man is the most nasty. Is that true? Yeah, because it don't mean like the young, like attractive, like old man. Why are you trying to That don't even make sense. The young, attractive old man. How, how can you be young and old? And listen, to all the niggas watching this video, this is a clear indication of why you should take care of yourself. If you old and you look disgusting, a girl is going to call you a creep when you try to talk to her. A younger girl specifically. But if you mature and you grown and you take care of your body and you take care of yourself, younger women or, and women in general ain't going to call you creeps. They're going to call you attractive and they're going to talk to you back. I'm just talking to you, bro. <laughs> you scared of eye contact? You too good to be scared of eye contact. I'm not scared of eye contact. All right, then let's have eye contact. That's crazy. He did exactly what I would have did. Let's do that eye contact. I win every time. A right. staring contest? Yeah, staring contest. Okay. If I win, you got to give me what I did. Okay, ready? I'm ready. No, you guys. Why did he have to sit down? Because now she's sitting down. This is a great angle. There's no need to sit down when, when, when the angle is angling. You feel me? That's that's the kind of conversation I like having. Let's talk about them titties. Let's talk about that ass. Let's talk about the vagina. It's like really fat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah. We must stay focused, bro. That's crazy. She really opened her legs. <laughs> that right there goes to show you that a woman will do whatever to fuck with your head. Stay woke. Woke season. Fuck is you talking about? We must stay focused. I'm bad. How you cut this? I knew she was going to lose. I'm going to keep it honest with you. The rest of this video is not YouTube appropriate. And I know you probably watched. I could have told y'all that. Just thinking like, oh, okay, well, he's just going to put it on the Patreon. No, I'm actually putting it on my new website. So yes, you heard it here first. I'm officially switching over from Patreon to another company when it comes to hosting my exclusive content. Ultimately, this is a bonus because it came to me with a lot of benefits. One of the great benefits is not only do I get a website where I can host all my exclusive content, I have a website where I can host a merch store where you can buy wonderful shirts like this. I'm going over to that site. Excuse me. As soon as I get some money, because I'm broke right now, my account says zero dollars and 39 cents it's over 30 boy shirts which you can go in and cop right now either under this youtube video or on my website right now and also too for my current patreon you guys get a free month promo code later on today so be on the lookout for that just wanted to show you guys my appreciation for you guys rocking out with me on that so the extended cuts of this video is up now on my website yes cuts there's two versions that's up already up right now so go ahead catch I gotta go tap in. Right now. And yeah, uh, copy some merch, man. This is my shit. Tricking's a word that's thrown around a lot. I mean, it really comes from the game of prostitution where 
a woman, a guy who pays for sex is a trick, the term they would use, or a John. Uh, the girls would say having sex. A John is crazy because I know a John. My granddaddy was named John. With someone who paid for it is turning a trick. Spending money on a woman, it's nothing wrong with it. If that's somebody you love and you care about. Okay. Tricking. I agree. Is when you're paying money and you know that motherfucker person don't give a shit about you. If you're using your money to obtain sex, that's tricking. If you're using your money to attain attention, that's tricking. That old theory, it ain't tricking if, if you got it. Now, tricking is tricking. What is your. Facts. Definition of trick. What is tricking? What do you consider tricking? You go buy a hotel room when you pick up with your gas money. Or uh, uh, when you buy a cigarette. When you buy a new porch, when you female smoke cigarettes. He said, when you buy a cigarette, when you buy a new porch. <laughs> Nigga, that's the same thing. That's your man. This is a sick Negro. You a big $2 you tricking on the raid. I don't consider that tricking because it was supposed to take care of the queen that he got. Trick it. Yeah, she right. The queen that he got is tricking if she's not with him. So she she right. If she just some bitch, it's tricking. Tricking. Yeah, I go to when somebody just give me you money. Tricking. Yeah, I go to take care of the queen that he got. Tricking. Tricking. Yeah. Yeah, like one of the young Damn, I'm trying to read the the shit. Yeah, I gotta sending money, spending money on a bitch, and I ain't getting none. Yeah, tricky for sure. Mm, when somebody just giving you money just because, mm. yeah, them bills, you know what I'm saying? Claude, no, you know, making sure you good on your end. You Anything you do is tricky. I don't give a f you take the whole of Burger King. It's tricky. You gonna spend some money to get the. But it's not no. You going that? I can understand what he said. He said I don't care if it's Burger King. I understand that. If he considered that tricking, I can see why. E type. It's like putting you in hotels, flying you out. You know what I'm saying? Sh that. Hey, y'all ever been tricked on before? I mean, we dancers. We always get tricked uh, on. Facts. Strippers. Escorts, OnlyFans, girls, all of them get the most tricks. I don't blame you. I wasn't thinking about it. You feel like every coming to the club is a trick? In the strip club, hell yeah, every is a trick. Come to the playground. I feel like y'all just saying that because y'all bottom girl. It's crazy. She said, uh, every nigga that comes to the strip club is a trick. That's probably the reason why I've never been to a strip stripper party or, a, I mean, a strip club. I've been to a stripper party. I've been to a couple birthday parties that book strippers. But, um, yeah, I've never been to a strip club. I don't see the point in throwing money at girls that's dancing when you could just go get a girl who gonna fuck you for free. Because dancing for me only going to make me want to fuck. And if I can't fuck, then I'm throwing money for nothing, in my opinion. Wait, is it true that bottle girls are like Juco strippers? <laughs> and tricking with me is a goofy ass. Got $100 in his pocket right here. He going to spend 40 on the bag, 30 on the food. The never had gas. So how you going to get the room? I said, we don't have the capacity. <laughs> Don't give me on earth and make it come out that pocket. It's facts. I don't know if that's a girl or a guy, but facts. This person is speaking facts. Don't come out that pocket. Leave that on. They the trick because they spend the money in the club on bull. Twenty dollars for some water. They, I'm definitely tricking. Like at the end of the day, my f***ing you am I tricking? I might just want to give you some. Do I not deserve a meal, a hotel room for you to get the in? So you can't. I like her. She said, I might just want to give you some pussy. You can. Especially because you look good. Come to my house? Uh, you, you know, you that the crib? The hell no. So you getting a whole You never let a you know where you whole, stay at. You getting you a whole. Facts. Fuck that. The hotel room your best bet. No nigga where you lay at. It's me. I'm <laughs> I 
I mean, if if I guess my little bit is when I fall in love or when I really, really, really care about a girl. Because I've only spent money on one girl. All these other girls, they don't get no money from me. Unless I'm, like, buying something from them. Like, I done bought food from girls that cook. I done bought graphic designers from girls that do graphic designs. Shit like that. Panty hole bills and all that just You a sip ass. So would you consider taking a girl on a date? Is that tricky? I take on a date, nah. You don't pay for a good meal. It's only for though. Because other than that, you getting a four for four. But you, you do have solid females that would don't mind paying. Right. They wait. Mm -hmm. See, if she pay her weight, that means you got to come back and bless her. Mm -hmm. If you bless her. Facts. And she don't bless you. Tricky. Literally tricking if I didn't like him. So girls do that, they just go on dates with they don't really like. Sometimes. Hell yeah, girls do that all the time. I ain't never been on a date before, but girls do that shit all the time. Like girls will go on a date just for the food or just for the experience, not for the person at all. Ever done that? I've done it. You raggedy. Every girl done done that. If a girl says she ain't do that, she's lying. What do you say to all the tricks out there, like the messes that you do to stop tricking? Bro, stop tricking. Y'all hyping these hoes heads up. No bullshit. The out there right. that's not tricky. Step your mother game up. Get your money up. Stop playing, bro. Get you a why? I don't understand why bitches think a nigga ain't shit if he ain't tricking. That's dumb. Niggas that trick is the losers in the situation. The nigga who can get the girl without tricking is the real winner. Game up, get your money up, stop playing broke. Get you a wife that wants you and love you, yeah, but as far as... <laughs> y'all not for that, y'all... I'm good. good. Not right now, I'm about 30, 35. We all hey, that's some great advice. Get you a woman that really loves and cares about you. Because these hoes that want you to trick ain't shit. 35 is kind of late. Because, in my opinion... Because she going to be 35, the niggas her age or older is probably going to already be with somebody, more than likely. And then the younger ones, and then like the ones that's her age probably going to want somebody younger than her. Because a lot of niggas date down in age. And then like she might find like a younger dude that might want to marry her or get married. But then... The uh, the young nigga that want to marry her, she might not want him because girls usually like older dudes and not younger. So thirty five is kind of up there in my opinion, but that's just me. And I ain't saying that's what's gonna happen to her. I ain't saying when she's hundred thirty five, she ain't gonna find nobody. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying usually when a girl's thirty five and she's looking to get married. The niggas that's her age or older want somebody that's like 27, 26, 25. Like, look at 50 Cent. 50 Cent girlfriend is a 90s baby. He's a 70s baby. Look at, um, who else? Leonardo DiCaprio don't date girls past the age 25. P. Diddy is 40 plus dating young Miami who like 28, 29. So, just a couple of examples. Also, everybody I did name is rich. So she might find a, a regular nigga, you know, who's older, who wants to date somebody they, they own age. But most of the time, that, they don't go like that. It's just levels to trick you. I'm a low tier trick. Yo, low tier trick. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to keep my low tier trick. You know what I'm saying? Like, he a high tier trick. What He probably fun ass that. SamSeason.com is the website. She look good. Got Charles up there. I need to tap in, man. Get some merch. Damn. She has some nice teeth. Her teeth is real nice. <laughs> he 
he proved himself in Rick and Morty. I need to learn how to do shit like that. Some guys are mad when they can't trick. You go into a club and they say no one could spend any money tonight. Well, the women are going to be attracted to the more fly guys, the guys that got more swag, the more handsome gentlemen, or the guys with the gift of gab. A trick is mad because he needs to create a scene. He needs to buy bottles. He needs to show off in order to pull the women over to him because that's all he's got. You don't need a Ferrari to knock a b be able to knock her off a 10 speed facts like if you're a real live player you understand what i'm saying hey some guys are forced to be tricks that's just the life they set out for themselves that's true you gotta make sure you not the nigga that can only get a bitch without tricking they paying for it for the rest of their way way out in a real way and if she's not reciprocating the love that you feel you also a sucker facts couldn't have said it better myself. Now listen. If you tricking, do your thing. I ain't knocking you. But if you not tricking, I salute you. Takes a strong man to not trick. Any nigga can get a bitch when he use materialistic stuff and money. But it takes, like Ice-T said, that, that mouthpiece, that gift of gab, that wordplay. To get a bitch. It takes that. A, a nigga with that. To get a bitch fair and square. Because getting a bitch with materialistic shit. And money is low key cheating. In my opinion. But let me know what y'all think in the comments.